Welcome to Picture Healer channel. Today I want to share with you how to calculate the yearly flying star chart. We know every year the flying stars enter to different positions. So around the Chinese New Year time, we are always talking about the new chart and the new energy. And the method behind the yearly chart seems mysterious. And it's kind of difficult to find the information online or from any books. It's actually very simple. Let's start with some basic theory. What are the nine feng shui periods and the corresponding nine stars? And before that, we should know the basic timing system in ancient China. You probably know about the 10 heavenly stem and 12 earthly branches. We talk about that a lot. The 10 heavenly stem and the 12 earthly branches create 60 combinations total. And this will be in a certain order. The first year will be jia zi. Jia is a heavenly stem and the zi is the first of the earthly branch. And the second year will be Yi Chou. Yi is the heavenly stem and the Chou is the earthly branch. When we divide the 60 years into three parts, the first 20 years will be period 1, and the second 20 years will be period 2. The third 20 years will be period 3. The period 1 corresponds with the number 1 white star, the period 2 corresponds with the number 2, 2 black star. And the period 3 is related to the number 3, 3 jade star. And then we start over from the jiazi again and start in the next 60 years. And then we have another 60 years. So totally we have 180 years as a cycle. We call it san yuan. We have the Shang Yuan, Zhong Yuan, and Xia Yuan. The Shang Yuan includes period 1 to 3. The Middle Yuan includes period 4 to 6. And the Xia Yuan includes period 7 to period 9. And now we are in the Xia Yuan. We are at the last year of period 8 going to period 9 in 2024. Now we know the basic structure of the 9 periods. And the rule is very simple here. For the first 60 years, we start with number one star in the center. And for the second 60 years, we start with the number four star in the center. Because the second 60 years start with period four. And the last 60 years, we start with number seven in the center. So that's for the jia zi year or the first year of the 60 years. And the next year, we will go in certain order. For the first two 60 years, it will be in direct order. It's going forward. But for the third 60 years, the order is going backward. For example, in period one, the jia zi year, starts with number one star in the center and the next year, Yi Chou year, the center becomes number two star and the third year will be number three. And it's the same with the middle 60 years. But for the last 60 years, we are going backwards. In period 7, the first year starts with star 7 in the center. And the second year, the center star becomes number 6. And the third year, the center star becomes number 5. So that's the difference for period 7, period 8, and period 9. So now we figure out the center star of the 9 star chart. How do we find out the rest of the stars? Then we need to look at the original Luo Shu chart. Here is the Luo Shu chart with number 5 in the center. And number 9 on the top, that's the south in old Chinese map. And number 1 in the north. 
So this is fixed direction for the basic Luoshu chart. And our direction is actually based on this, but we start from the center. So after five in the center, you will be six. We can see that's northwest. And after that, it goes to west, number seven. And then it's number eight, that's northeast. And the next star flies to south, that's number nine. And then we go back to number one in the north. And then number two, southwest. And then number three, east. Number four, southeast. And then back to the center. So that's the direction we follow for all flying star chart. In some flying star chart, they will have the direct flying stars and the backward flying stars. But for the yearly flying star, we will follow the direction of the number. We will just do forward flying. And we are going to focus on the last 60 years because we are at almost period 9. And after period 9, we will start over from period 1. So that's one way to find the yearly flying star chart. You count from the beginning of the 60-year cycle, starting from period 7, that's the number 7 in the center. And the second year of the period 7, it's a number 6 in the center. And follow the Luoshu chart direction to find the next number. There's another way to calculate the center star of the yearly flying star chart. It's by adding up the numbers in the year and then use a number 11 to minus that number. And that's the number for the center star of that year. For example, this year is 2023. And if you want to find the center star of the yearly flying star chart, you can just add up all the numbers in the year. So 2 plus 2 plus 3 equals 7. And we use number 11 to minus the number we just calculated. So 11 minus 7 is 4. So number 4 is the center flying star of this year. So it's actually very easy to calculate. If the numbers of the year you add up is bigger than 11, you just add it up again to become a single digit number and use number 11 to minus the number you just calculated. And that will be the number for the center of the flying star chart for that year. And another example is the 2024. We can just add up the numbers in the year. 2 plus 2 plus 4 equals number 8. And uh, 11 minus 8 is number 3. So in 2024, the center star of the flying star chart is number 3. And now you can see it's in the descending order. The 2023, we have number 4. 2024, we have number 3. And then 2025, you will be number 2. Because we are in the last 60 years of the 180 year cycle, so the center star will be in descending order. And once we figure out the center star, we can just follow the Luoshu square star's flying direction. We start from the center, the next number will be in northwest, and then fly to the west, and then northeast and then south, and then north, and then southwest, and then east, and then southeast, and then back to the center. So if you want to calculate the yearly flying star chart for a future year, you can just calculate it this way. It's just as simple as that. So that's the video today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.